Hi everyone, welcome to your slider hip class. For equipment, you are just gonna need a set of gliders. If you're on hardwood, you can use dish towel. If you're on carpet, you can use paper plates. At one point, we are gonna have our knees on the gliders. So even if you are doing this on carpet with plastic gliders or paper plates, I would have a dish towel on hand that you can put over the gliders to use as a little padding for your knees, okay? Just a heads up. And we will have both feet on the gliders uh, for the first flow. So you'll want either two, one for each foot, or if you use a dish towel, you can always just fold it this way so that you can fit both feet on it. If you're new to this class format, it mixes sliding sequences with quick bursts of interval training. So what we'll do is we will do a slider flow, a few minutes long, and then that goes right into two minutes of hit work. It's kind of like half a Tabata. We'll do 20 seconds work, 10 seconds of rest, four times through, and we'll just alternate between two exercises. You then get a minute to recover, and then we repeat it. So you go through that continuous slider flow right into the two minutes of hit, and then you rest. We have two different kind of chunks of class, okay? Um, so we'll, the first slider flow in Tabata will be more core upper body focused, and then the second slider flow Tabata series will be more lower body focused. I'll give you a preview of the Tabatas before we go into the slider flow, and then I'll just verbally guide you through the slider flow as we go. We're gonna start class with a guided warm up. We'll finish up with a quick cool down. For our warm up, you don't need your gliders, and we can start standing. We're gonna do a little combo. I want you to reach your arms forward. We're standing up tall and neutral, and we're going to retract the shoulder blades. So you're gonna slide those shoulder blades in towards each other. Once they're retracted, I want you to do a reverse fly. So you're just gonna open those arms up without playing through the rib cage, and you're gonna bring them back to center. Now let's protract the shoulder blades. So you're gonna slide them through neutral and then wide towards your armpits. So now your arms are reaching forward. From here, I want you to nod the chin and I want you to flex the mid spine forwards from this rounded position. You're gonna stack the spine back up to neutral. And then we just do that again. Retract the shoulder blades, fly the arms. Protract the shoulder blades and flex that mid spine forward. Notice I'm staying pretty neutral through my lower spine when I round forward. I'm just really focused on uh, the mid spine and upper spine. Let's do one more. We retract, arms fly. We protract, we round. And then we're gonna stack the spine to neutral. Arms are gonna go overhead. And we're gonna do a hip hinge with a sweep of the arms. Hip slide back as the arms sweep back. We stay open through the chest and neutral through the spine. We're gonna hold in the hinge position. We're gonna trace arm circles in three, two, one, hold that hinge position, and now we're gonna trace nice big arm circles, really mobilizing through the shoulder joint. We have lots of plank-based work in our first flow, so I want us to really make sure that we are ready through the shoulder girdle. Switch direction in your circles before we get into it. Hands can come to heart center. It's gonna be a squat to a hip hinge stand. Three, circle for two, and one. So from this hinge position, you're gonna bend into the knees, chest open and lifted, drop to a squat, and then stand it up. We slide the hips back, we drop to our squat and stand. So we're gonna come into some dynamic movement up next. Three moves and we'll go through them twice. First is gonna be a squat to a hip circle. So next time you drop into your squat, I want you to pause, I'm just gonna to turn to face you. From here, as you come up, you're gonna trace a hip circle. Land back in your squat, other side. Next movement, we're gonna have a nice wide stance. It'll be a side lunge with a reach and twist. Last circle. Find a wide stance. You're gonna side lunge to one side, opposite hand towards that foot. Slide across, twisting. Slide and twist. We'll keep the wide stance, but we'll externally rotate through the hips so that we're in a sumo position. It's gonna be a punch and a pivot into and one, externally rotate from the hips so the toes point out to start, and then you pivot lifting one heel, punch across, side to side. Building a little heat in the body. We'll have that whole low impact slider flow before we get to our first Tabata, but we still wanna warm things up here in the warm up. We'll start from the top, squat, hip circle, three, two, one, squat, hip circle, kinda like you're stepping up and over something. Whew. 
Side lunge with that reach and twist. In two and one. Wide stance. We'll externally rotate through the hips. Pivot and punch in two and one. Externally rotate from the hips, knees and toes point out, and then pivot, pivot, punch across. Hands are gonna come to the mat up next. We'll inchworm out to a plank for world's greatest in three, two, one. Hands are gonna come to the mat. Inchworm yourself out to a plank position, world's greatest once to each side. Foot steps outside hand, hand twist to ceiling, reverse it back to plank, other side. Just do one each side. And then we're gonna pike the hips up. We're gonna inchworm our hands in towards our feet. So we're in a forward fold. And then just inchworm them back out and repeat. World's greatest, one sheets, one sh once each side. Keeping the legs straight, pike those hips up. Hands inchworm in, hands inchworm out. Final time. This time, when you're in your plank, I want you to pause, and then I want you to bend the knees, step the feet in, so now you're in a bear plank. And from here, let's retract and protract those shoulder blades, a little serratus push-up, kind of full circle from where we started class. Give me three. Give me two. Last time, knees come down. All right, so before we get into our first slider flow, let me just show you what the Tabata will be that we go right into after our first sliding flow. First exercise, chest to floor burpees. If you would rather do push-up burpees, that is an option. And if you wanna keep it low impact, you can step step instead of jumping. Second exercise, it's going to be a V-sit, bent knees, straight legs, bent and straight. To modify that one, I would just do the bent knee version, or you could always stay down on the mat and you could just give me an ab curl, okay? So store that in the back of your mind. We're gonna start with our slider flow. It is plank based. So you're gonna to wanna to adjust your mat so that you have room for sliding. So I'm just gonna take mine, flip it this way. Feet are gonna be on the glider. And then remember, at one point the knees will switch to the glider. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my towels lengthways like this, and I'm gonna stack one on top of the other so it's nice and thick. So that way when we do drop our knees, they're going to be comfortable. All right. Now slider plank work is very hard. I know that we're gonna keep these flows quick, okay? I promise. So we're gonna start in a forearm plank position, feet on the glider. I want your forearms, shoulders distance apart, parallel, and really stable through the shoulder. So think opening up through the chest, but pushing the floor away, okay? And then from here, we're gonna start with a pike. So the heels stay lifted, legs stay straight. We pike the hips up, sliding the towel in and lower it down. Now at any point during the sliding series, if you need to modify, I would ditch the glider, okay? So you would just walk your feet in and walk your feet out instead of gliding, okay? So we're gonna turn this into a combo coming up. It'll be a knee tuck on the way in. So you'll bend your knees on the way in. Then holding the towel still, we'll pike our hips up to the ceiling, straightening the legs. And then keeping the legs straight, we'll pike on the way down. Let's do three more of the pikes and then we'll turn it into that combo. Last time, then we combo. All right, next time you're in your plank, pause. We're gonna switch it up a little bit. It's a knee tuck on the way and bend those knees. Now from here, you're gonna just straighten your legs, lift the hips up. Now keeping the legs straight, you're gonna lower them back down to your plank. We knee tuck in. We pike the hips up. We slide them down. So our next change coming up will just be that knee tuck. But we're gonna march up to straight arms for it. If your wrists bother you though, feel free to stay down on your forearms. Let's do two more of the combo. Now, next time in your plank, I want you to pause. We're going to march up one hand at a time. Now you're in a high plank position, hips at shoulder height, knee tuck, knees slide in and straighten out. So coming up, the knees are going to come down on the glider. We're going to do a little Cobra combo. It'll be a Cobra, a march, and a walk forward. Whew. Shoulders working here too, along with core. 
Really press the mat away, filling the space between your shoulder blades. You don't want to sink down. Length through the back of your neck. So the gaze is at your mat, not at your feet. Knees are going to come down in four. In three, you're going to be in a modified plank. In two. Give me one more knee tuck in. Out. And then this time I want you to pull the towel in a little bit. Knees are going to come down. Lower your hips. So now we're in a modified plank position. We're going to cobra down. So you're going to start to slide back. Maintain this neutral spine. As you do, you're bending the elbows, lowering to your forearms. From here, march up to straight arms. And walk yourself forward. We slide down. March up, leading with your other side this time. And you walk it forward. Stay active through your glutes here so that you don't uh, pike the hips up at all, okay? We will finish with a plank hold and then we go right into our Tabata. It's half a Tabata. Two more reps here. Last time, if you cobra to your forearms, you march up to straight arms, you walk it forward. Now, right where you are, tuck your toes under, lift your knees, hold your high plank position, and just breathe. You got it. So I want you to take a foot and kick the glider out of the way. We're gonna go right into our Tabata, chest to floor burpees, coming up. From this plank position, we can initiate it by jumping the feet forward into our squat and jumping up, okay? We'll do chest to floor in the next rep. Let's go, 20 seconds. You can do a push up instead of lowering yourself all the way to the mat if you prefer. Rest. Okay, you're going to come down onto the mat. We have that V-sit crunch. So we're going to lower to a hollow hold. Arms are going to reach forward. Balance behind your sitting bones. From hollow hold, straight legs, bent knees. To modify, I would just do bent knees. It's a little easier. Oh. Rest, all right. One more set, chest to floor burpees, V-sits. Then you get a minute to recover. Go. Rest, down to the mat, V-sits, straight, bent. So roll the back of your sitting bones, arms reach forward. When you come down, you're in an ab curl position. So you're not resting your head on the floor. Come on, minute to recover on the other side. Oh, rest. Okay, you have a minute to recover. So we're gonna go through that whole thing one more time, okay? You know the drill. We have our gliders. Again, I have two stacked on top of each other so that it's padded when we get to the kneeling stuff. Great way to modify throughout any of this. You ditch the gliders and you walk your feet in and out instead of sliding them in and out. Whew. All right, let's gear up for round number two. Of all the classes I film, sliding core work, sliding plank base work is the hardest for me to talk while doing. <laughs> so I'm like psyching myself up for this. Let's find our forearm plank position. So feet are on your glider, forearms down, shoulder width apart. We're not sinking down into the shoulders. We're pressing the mat away so we're really stable through that shoulder girdle. All right, let's start with those pikes. Exhale, the hips lift up and then they lower back down. Now don't worry about how high up 
you are getting those hips. If you're getting your hips up by dumping your shoulders forward into your hands, I'd rather you keep the shoulders a little more so over the elbows and not get the hips up as high. And if you're tight through the hamstrings, they might not go up very high either. That's fine. Keep the heels lifted though. I don't want you to lift up and drop the heels down. So we have that combo coming up next. We'll knee tuck on the way in. We'll pike the hips up. We'll pike on the way down. Give me three more pikes. Last time. And let's combo. So you're gonna bend the knees, knee tuck in. Hips lift up, pike it down. We'll march up to straight arms next. You're gonna give me three more like this. Final time. Pause in your forearm plank position. March up to high plank, and we go right into knee tucks. Knees bend into a bear plank position, and they slide out straight. We're almost to knees down, okay? You can do it. Four more, and then your knees are gonna come down onto that glider. Give me one more full range. And then I want you to bring the towel in a little bit so we can walk our knees back to it, hands at the top edge of the mat, lower your hips so that now we're in a modified plank position, gentle squeeze of the glutes, cobra. As you slide back, you bend the elbows. It's like a tricep dip. We march up and then we walk forward. So alternate your lead hand. And when you march up, it would be left, right, then walk forward, left, right. Next time you would reverse that. So when you slide down in that cobra, I want you to think of wrapping your triceps back so the creases of your elbows point straight forward and you're bending down with arms parallel. If your elbows are bowing out to the sides, it's gonna start bothering your elbows and we don't want that. Almost done with this first series. Give me two more and then we hold our plank. Last time, cobra down, march it up, walk it forward, tuck your toes, lift those knees, hold your high plank. In 10 seconds, we go right into chest to floor burpees. So kick the glider out of the way. We'll start by hopping our feet forward. Let's go. 20 on, 10 off. Just four work intervals. Rest, come down to the mat, V-ups. Bend straight, arms reach forward. Let's go. Gaze is at your knees. Oh, rest. Burpees. Final set, we got this. Then you have another minute of recovery and I give you a whole new sequence. Go. Okay, final 20. V up, bend straight. Arms reach forward. Go. Oh, 
and done. All right, you have a minute to recover. Whew. Okay, so our second slider flow is gonna be standing. It's gonna be lunge based, warrior lunge based. We'll do that and then we go right into our Tabata. Our Tabata. These are the two exercises. First, it's a sprinter lunge jump. You make them really explosive. You get low, fingertips towards the mat, big jump up. Same foot will be forward the whole time. Second exercise is a squat drop, hip twist. So you drop to a squat. As you come up, light on the balls of your feet, twist the hips, drop of a direction. Now to keep those low impact, the lunge hop will just be a lunge pulse, down low, up, down low, up. And then for the squat drop hip twist, it would just be a squat, twist at the top, squat, torso twist at the top. And I'll have those low impact modifications playing. Whew. Grab a drink of water if you need it, and let's make our way to standing. So we will start with our right leg as the focus, which means our left foot is gonna be on the glider. You just need one now, we don't need it as padding. And your right foot will be stationary. And again, you'll need space for sliding. So we're going to start in a low warrior lunge. So first let's just square off our, through our hips and let's find the bottom of our lunge position. And then from here, we're gonna open up through the pelvis. So we're pivoting. I still want you to keep this back left heel lifted, but now the left toes point to the left and the right toes point forward. From here, we're going to bend and straighten through this back knee and we're gonna hold low on our right side. So we're just gonna slide that left knee in and out in this open pelvic position. So our pelvis is kind of at an angle the right knee is pointing forward and we're stabilizing through that knee so that it stays tracking forward and it doesn't cave inside the big toe. Now keep reaching those hips back. We have a lean forward with the torso, so our shoulders kind of over this front knee. And we're keeping this left heel lifted so we don't transfer too much weight into it. So it's just slightly sliding in and out. So now we have some pulses coming up next. So this back leg will stay straight. We'll pulse up an inch and down an inch, just a little slide in and out up and down on the right side. Next time that left leg is straight, hold it straight. Now from here, you push your right foot into the floor, up an inch or two, down an inch or two, up and down. We're gonna turn this into a combo. So we will pulse in this warrior position. Then in our low lunge, we're just gonna square the hips forward and we'll pulse in a traditional lunge alignment, okay? So let's combo it out. You're gonna give me one pulse in the warrior, up an inch, down, and now I want you to take this left hip, pull it forward, squaring off through the hips. Up an inch, down an inch. We open up into the warrior, up and down. So this is controlled rotation within this right hip joint. The pelvis is rotating around the head of the femur. So we've been holding pretty low on this right side up until now. Coming up, we're gonna do a full range lunge. In the warrior alignment, you'll go up all the way, down all the way. It's a very active exercise, but it's gonna feel nice. It'll be like a little respite from this work. Next time you're open up in your warrior lunge, let's take it to full range. So you're gonna press all the way up on that right side, and then you slide those hips back, hinging forward with the torso. Press that right foot into the floor to come up. Slide those hips back. We're in our warrior alignment. So again, pelvis is at that angle, but right toes point forward. If the sliding warrior does not work for your body, you can always give me a regular sliding lunge instead, okay? You would square off those hips. You're gonna feel the back inner thigh working as well, but it shouldn't be taking over for the front right leg. That's why I want this heel lifted. Now we are gonna go through all that work we did at the bottom again. We're just gonna do it in reverse order, okay? So coming up, we'll do that pulse with the rotation. So next time in your low warrior lunge, hold. Up an inch, down an inch. Take your left hip, pull it forward, square off through the hips. Up an inch, down an inch. Open into the warrior. And again, really think about what is happening here. The pelvis is rotating around this right thigh bone. Inner thighs, getting some love on this one as well. We will take out the rotation up next. It'll just be those warrior pulses. Next time you're in your warrior, just the pulse up and down. Hold the pelvis open. Whoosh. 
So we're going to go back to what we started with. It's going to be that knee slide of the back left knee, keeping the legs open. So it's kind of like frog legs. Next time you're down at the bottom, pause. Now holding low, reach those hips back. We're going to slide our left knee in and back, staying low on the right side. You got it. We'll finish up with a hold. And then we're going right into our Tabata. When we hold, we will just slide this left leg back. We'll hold in our low warrior. Option to reach the arms overhead. Two more. Last time, straighten out that left leg. Can you get one inch lower in your warrior lunge? Keep your left heel lifted high. Maybe arms reach overhead. Woo. Coming up, you're gonna ditch the glider. We are gonna square off. We're going right into those sprinter lunge hops. Right leg will be the focus. All right, let's kick the glider out of the way. Let's square our hips. Deep bend to this back knee. Let's go. Get some air. Right foot is forward. Jump, get low. Jump, get low. You can pulse instead of jump to modify. Woo, 10 seconds to rest. All right, squat drop, hip twist. So low in the squat and then twist the hips at the top. Twisting side to side, let's go. Light on your feet, light on your feet at the top. Chest stays pointing forward, just the hips twist. Rest. Okay, right foot is forward again. Sprinter lunge hops. Not too wide of a stance because both knees will be bent as we reach towards the bottom, go. Rest. 20 more seconds, then we got a full minute to recover. Squat drop, hip twist. Go. Done. All right, you have a full minute to recover. You do not need to move your mat, but I'm just gonna move my mat so that I'm facing you, the camera during this. Do that whole thing with the left leg as the focus. So fetch your glider. Woo. So after this sliding series, two minute Tabata, we cool it down, okay? Grab a drink of water now if you need it. Okay, so our left foot will be planted on the mat, right foot will be on the glider. We'll start down with that work at the bottom. We'll do full range in the middle for a little bit of relief, although it's active relief. And then we will finish down low. We go right into the two minutes of hit, and then we cool it down, okay? Pickles has decided to join us for our last push of class. I swear they can sense when I'm close to being done and they get to go on a walk. So they come out of the woodwork. <laughs> So to get into position, I want you to start in a square lunge, back right heel is lifted, and then come down to the bottom. Now from here, we're gonna open up through the pelvis. So you're just gonna pull that right hip back. Your left toes are still pointing forward. Your back right heel is lifted. And we're gonna start with those knee slides on the back side. Now I'm leaning forward. So notice this uh, left shoulder is over this left knee. And as I slide this back knee in, I'm not transferring weight back into it, okay? So keep your right heel lifted. Now, how open through the hips you are is kind of up to you and what feels best for your hips. Everyone's different. I don't want you totally to the side though, and I don't want you square unless you are purposely going square because this warrior alignment does not work for you, okay? So just think slight angle open. How slight or big that angle is, uh, it's not a precise thing. Do what feels best for your body. Important thing is that the knee, this left knee is staying tracking in line with your middle toes and it's not wobbling to the inside of your big toe. So we gotta really plant down through that foot. 
We're going to take this into pulses up next. So you will straighten out your right leg. Last knee slide in, send it long, holding it straight. Let's go up an inch or two, down an inch or two. As you press up, you stamp your left foot into the floor and lower up and down. Now I'm not creating this pulse by rocking my knee forward and back hips up and down. My left knee is staying pretty much right over that heel. So we're going to add in that controlled rotation of the hip joint up next. It'll be a pulse and warrior. You'll square your hips, a pulse in your square lunge. Let's do it. Pulse and warrior. Now take this right hip, pull it forward, pulse, open it up. Don't just go through the motions. Really think about what is happening. Your pelvis is rotating around your, the head of your left thigh. You have that full range warrior lunge coming up next to give us a little break from all this work at the bottom. Next time you open up into that warrior lunge, hold the warrior alignment, come all the way up and down. We're not hanging out at the top. Do come all the way to the top, fire through those glutes, but then send those hips right back down. Inner thighs are working here too. So we're going to go through all that work we did at the bottom in reverse order, and then we'll finish with that hold. One more full range rep. And our next time you go to the bottom, we're in that pulse rotation combo. Let's do it. Pulse in your warrior. Pull your right hip forward, squaring off. Pull square, rotate at the bottom. Notice I'm keeping my back right heel lifted the whole time, making that left side really do the support work. We'll take out the rotation up next. It'll just be that warrior pulse. Let's do it up and down in your warrior position. Two variations to get through knee slides and a hold. In three, we go to knee slides. Pulse two, last pulse, hold at the bottom. Now your back right knee slides in, holding the knees open. So kind of think frog legs and out. Reach those hips back. Your left knee is not jutting out farther forward than the toes. So we want hips back, hips back. That warrior hold is coming up next. We will stay low. Maybe arms reach overhead. In three. In two. In one. Let's do it. Straighten that right leg out. Hips back. Maybe get one inch lower. Maybe arms reach overhead. You are here for 10 seconds. Coming up, you're going to ditch the towel. Square off. Sprinter lunge hop. Let's kick that towel out of the way. Let's square our hips off. Step your back foot in a little bit. Fingertips reach to the floor. Let's go. I know it's very hard going straight into these first 20 seconds after that slider series, but you can do it. It's just 20. Oh, rest. Squat drop, hip twist. I'm just going to move this over. So a little more space, go. Rest, final set, left foot forward, sprinter lunge hops. Two 20 second pushes and you're done. Go. Oh. 
rest. Final 20, squat drop, hip twist. We can do it. Go. Done. Oh, awesome work. Take a second to catch your breath. I'll bring you through a quick cool down. Let's start with standing quad stretch so we can continue to catch our breath. One foot in your hand, pull the heel in towards your seat. Drop your tailbone down. Switch your other foot. Whoop, as I fall. Releasing that foot, we're gonna do a stretch for the shoulders. I want you to interlace your fingers behind your back. First, just push the knuckles away, opening up through the chest. And then from here, I want you to lift the arms up a little bit. It may just be like an inch. releasing those hands. We're going to come into a wide forward fold only if you feel like your heart rate has come down enough that you can do so without all the blood rushing to your head. So wide stance, let's forward fold. And then from here, I want you to walk your hands over to your right foot outside of the shin. And let's take it over to the other side. It's a good stretch to do after all that warrior lunge work. Walking your hands in through center, heel toe your feet into about hips distance apart. And let's just take a moment in this forward fold. Nod your head yes, shake it no, relieve any tension through the neck. And when you're ready, we're slowly vertebrae by vertebrae. Gonna stack the spine up tall. On an inhale, we're gonna sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, we release. And that is your class. Awesome work today.